Hawks start for the West Indies was quite good. 59. Now Karen Pollard at the crew. Now this was the wicket of Brandon King. Yes. England spinners have really been on top of things. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, they really need a innings from Kyron Pollard and Nicholas Puran within these middle overs. West Indies has quite struggled and previously right arm over. within this period. Slip in place. Moen on the attack. Pull out of way. Uh, six bowlers used Spider so man. far. And again. Livingston being the pick of the bowling. And if Adil Rashid will then come back into the attack with Pollard at the crease. 91 for three. Well, you asked for him, Bish, and he's back. Adil Rashid. Bold. One, one, Barry. William Boy. Yeah, it's a matchup that they look to. Rashid has already had Pollard once in the series and Puran once in the series with Pollard coming in head of. Of Ravan Powell, which is interesting. A number of interesting moves by the West Indies today. Yes, thank you. And we saw Shepard come in early, possibly a pinch hitting position or pinch hitting role. And then quite get many, got some connections, but not as many as West Indies would have wanted. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have gone there with Shepard at that stage after a good start. Oh, is it? Suppose you could make an argument with someone who's who hits the ball well to continue what the openers have done, but I would have gone the way of Puran, who's shown the ability to be able to come in and, and to maintain a tempo. And I agree with that because his partnership in the previous game, I think the only issue was just not being able to strike the ball as much where boundaries were concerned, but he scored 22 of 16. Hey, Bob. But what I liked about the innings with him and Rothman Powell is that they were boundary hitting from either end. So there was no pressure on Puran or, or one particular batter to score all the time. They were able to maneuver boundaries hitting on either end. So runs is scoring, so that momentum is there. And of course, the confidence to play their shots. I wonder what has influenced the move to Captain Pollard to come ahead of Rothman Powell. Interesting to find out later on. But now Pollard will hope it succeeds. 
play, Paul. 95 for three. Power play was very good between Calmes, especially, and Brandon King. But again, the middle overs proving to be a, a challenge against the spin. A bit expensive in his first over, Chris Jordan. But he's back for his second. No, 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 no. And the reason we're talking about the middle overs, last night, for example, only 28 runs were scored between over 7 to 13. and three wickets were lost. They've scored a little bit more than that so far. Today. But again, they've lost the three wickets in this time. Spin and Jordan, who bowled an over in that time yesterday evening, was critical. He bowled over number 13 yesterday and is bowling number 13 again today. Yeah, and his variations were on point yesterday. All his Yorker length deliveries, mixed them up with his cutters. Really proving to England that yeah, he, they did miss him for that game that he did not play in. He was not selected in. But again, it just shows opportunities. Grasp them once you have them. Just some discussions between skipper and vice skipper. Three runs scored so far off this over. Four balls, two balls to go. How do they score runs? How do they find a boundary? How do they get themselves out of this area that seems to be troubling them, West Indies? It was a game you mentioned, Chris Jordan, bowling well at the end of the innings last night. It was something of redemption for him because he'd been traveling a bit of late at that stage. Remember the World Cup semi-final? A lot of people in the UK talk about, for example. Just four off the over 99 for three.
There's some stats from Brandon King and Kyle Mears. But nobody has gone on just yet. Living Santabo. Hey. For me, if I look at Nicholas Perrin's battle here with Livingston, will try to bowl a lot of off breaks. May occasionally bowl a leg break with a big side, leg side. But Perrin has to remember that if it's outside off, don't try to drag it into the leg side. He can hit it inside out. Oh. Pressure building. Yeah, he's been dismissed three times within this series. Oh, bold. Bold. Back By up. spin, Back Nicholas Puran. But he's a good player of spin. So just a case of strength being weakness. And England working him out as well. Not giving him that space or, or, or that width to play the shots, especially to the offside, as you mentioned. And true. That inside out the shot that he plays very well. So he'll have to find, and we keep saying find a way. But it's happening, it's live here. You've got to work it out. He must go leg spin to Pollard here. Surely he must go with the leg spinner. Hey. Hey. Does so. No way I can think of him bowling an off spinner to Pollard with the short boundary leg side. Well, he'd be a brave man, let's put it that way. Deep extra cover. I bowled, Libby! It's been 27 balls, 21 minutes uh, since. The last boundary has been scored. Yes, Libby, yes, Libby. Oh, mate, high class, Libby. Uh, totally unlike Austin West Indies. Keep it up, Tony. But at the end of 14, West Indies 103 for three. Some good news for cricket in the Caribbean, the first class season, which was curtailed early in 2020 when the pandemic began. Aye. Teams will again be competing for the Headley Weeks Trophy. Named in honor of the West Indian legends, George Headley and uh, Sir Everton Weeks. Last three rounds of the championships will be... Con well in April and uh, beginning in February. We'll have those rounds. So great for domestic cricket in the Caribbean, but a lot of people tend to forget players outside of the international setup haven't had a chance to fine tune their skills, not only here, around one or two places around the globe as well, for almost two years. I'm really finding it difficult to find boundaries. But this has been a good bowling display Russia. from Rashid Ali. Russia. Rashid Khan, Moin Ali, and Liam Livingston. Hey. 
He has his man. Adil Rashid has been superb all through this series. Yeah, pitched up delivery. Nicholas Puran trying to go high and hard. And pressure is on. Rashid gets his man. Nicholas Puran goes for 21. Western is 105 for four. In comes Rotman Powell, who's previously batted at four in the series. And Rashid has Puran for the second time. They're trying to make room, Nicholas Puran. This one just a straight a delivery. Mm, just and takes off the off stump bill. Rashid had Powell yesterday with a googly that went through the gap slip in place catch yes, boy. almost has him again <laughs> come on boys come on Rush, take this one with you right eh? one on here Rush. and try to work it on the leg side but a bit uppish it just doesn't carry to Rashid Oh my goodness, that was a tentative stroke if ever there was one, but it's the end of a brilliant spell from Rashid, 105 for four. West Indies have uh, fallen into the same pit that they did here on Saturday. Got to say, I'm really confused, Kemar Roach. Look at the depth of that batting lineup. Akil Hussain coming in at number 10. Odin Smith, Fabian Allen, Jason Holder. Rodman Powell, who came in at four and made 100 on this same pitch, has now walked to the crease at number six. How have West Indies got themselves into this hole? Why did they not just keep going? They've got the batting depth to keep going. I'm just as confused as you, <laughs> but I thought that was a plan, sending Shepard at three. I thought the intent was going to be there throughout the innings, but they've found themselves in a little bit of hole here. Mahmoud back into the attack. Had a uh, rather rude awakening in his first over, giving away uh, 19. Here are the four wickets to four, and Rashid, wouldn't you believe it, the first man to strike, Jason Roy, hold it, keeping his head, Phil Salt with the assist. Leg spin again, but this time Livingston got rid of Shepard. He also got rid of King. And Adil Rashid, hey. who's had a wonderful series, knocked over Puran. Adil Rashid finishes with two for 17. And he really has been a thorn in the side of this West Indies lineup. He certainly has, Butch. He's been brilliant for his best mate, Moen Ali. Adil Rashid, two for 17, 12 dot balls. Look at the 12 dot balls and the 10 dot balls of Moen Ali. Nine of Liam Livingston is why the West Indies are in this position. Good running. And Case of overthinking things for the West Indies. I mean, Shepard coming out at three. You've got Rodman Powell in the hutch. Jason Holder still sitting indoors at the moment. I don't understand the 
Shepard coming in and, and not Powell. But I think I've got to give a huge amount of credit to Moen Allen's captaincy. Change of bowling, the way he's not let the West Indies batsmen settle. But a bit like that ball there from Saki Mahmood, the bowler's execution in this game since the power play has been absolutely brilliant. The googly of, um, and this, that's what you want from Saki Mahmood. That's the area he's, he's good at. A little bit of punishment at the death on Wednesday night. But the googly, the leg spinner has worked perfectly for, for Adil Rashid. The West Indies have dug themselves into a massive hole. But I'll take all that on board, Steve. But I'll throw it at Kemar. That given all of those things, and England have been very good, Pollard and Puran literally came out and knocked it for one, for five overs. There wasn't any attempt to try and put anything back on, on the England bowlers at all. Yeah, and I thought that they were going to be quite positive seeing that Pollard came out before Rovman. And I thought, this is a pitch that Robman got the 100 on. I thought if you give Robman, Robman Paul a little bit more time. Ooh, oh, good cold. Lord. Oopsie. I think that's called overcooking the Yorker. Robman Powell, there's nothing wrong with his eyes, that's for sure. And uh, Saki Mahmood will have to be very careful now. Yeah. Dangerous ball. He apologised. It's never intentional, I think. Just off overcompensating for that Yorker. Not getting it fully right. And it comes up full. But luckily, Rodman missed it. Or it missed him. Well, that's good. That's a really good comeback. But yeah, going back. Yeah, I'm surprised that Pollard came before Rodman. In this innings, obviously Rodman... When he got his 100, he, he gave himself some time. He started against a spin. He ran singles. He maneuvered the strike well. And then he obviously exploded at the end. I had a fantastic knock. So a little puzzling, but let's see if it'll work out in the favor of the West Indies. Drilled. But the men are back and straight. It'll be another single. It's a really good comeback from uh, Saki Mamou. Just the eight runs from it. 16 gone, 113 for four. Well, power play went uh, very much the way the West Indies would have wanted it, but as it did yesterday, as soon as you came out of that power play and England went to uh, almost exclusively spin, they managed to drag things back quite beautifully. The pitch is uh, a decent one. There has been a little bit of turn, but nothing like we saw on Saturday. Reese Topley, who has been uh, one of a few success stories for England on this trip, has two overs to go. Be charged with uh, closing it out from the Joel Garner end. dish oh that sounded good and it's gone a long long way 
This man is very, very strong. And the West Indies needed that. They've not had one since the 10th over. Just sound good, bitch. It, bitch it, oh, I've done it again. It looked good. My head's gone when it comes in that. Oh, Butch and oh, Bish is killing you, isn't it? Oh, you are. I'm calling the wrong way around. The heat's done me. Heat's done me, Mark. <laughs> oh, you two big fast bowlers next to me. England really struggled in the first three games getting the, uh, the Yorker in, but they seem to have remedied that in the last two. Yeah, they have, and something that England have not been good at. We talk about success stories. Well, that's one there. Rhys Topley, fantastic. The way he's been throughout this T20 campaign, but also the death bowling has been a lot better, and that's something that England have been 12th in the rankings. ICC rankings, 12 teams, and England have been the worst. Well, he gets a good piece of that. Karen Pollard finds the boundary for the first time. And 13 balls, would you believe? Yeah, <laughs> a welcome bonus there for Pollard. Got a good piece of that. And he has some big bats with a lot of rubbers. And he's a big guy, so... Once it get very close to the middle of that bat, definitely going to race along the carpet. So, good shot. Pollard wants two. I don't think he's going to get him. Entirely sure what par score is on this surface now, given the way things have gone in this innings. I still think it's around about 170. Thoughts? Well, that's gone away for four. The Yorker went in from Topley. It was a good one. But it's ended up going to the boundary. We'll find out what uh, Stephen Kemar think about a par score. In the next one, one three, one for four. Eighteen legitimate balls to go. Well, when you're uh, when you're hot, you're hot. Hit it before anywhere. Back of the bat, that back of the bat, trying to go down to short fine leg. He was inside the circle, and the question you asked a second ago. I still think it was a 180, I still think it's a 180, 190 pitch. Totally agree. I was saying 200 the way they started, and the powerful battle length that West Indies has. 50 runs in the power play, I thought they were definitely on course for 190, 200. But they found themselves in a hole, and now they got to dig themselves out of it. They've yeah, got a couple of very powerful men at the crease who've had uh, a good sight up. England will still need to get their disciplines right at the end, get it underneath those. Uh, Big bats away from those huge biceps and away from that small boundary. And that's well bowled. Thought Chris Jordan last night was excellent at the death. He bowled it. A good over in the middle 24 hours ago, which would have given him a huge amount of confidence. And this again, see him bolt upright, close to that white line. This is the Chris Jordan of old. Talked about Chris Jordan's. That doesn't look good in the distance. Not a fan of rainbows, Steve. 
picked it up there again. I mean, an interesting point you made before, Kimo, about just the resources that the West Indies have. Now, say, for example, they they get to 160 plus, but end up only four wickets down. They've not used the resources that they have in the lineup. They've, they've made changes in order to, to strengthen their lower order hitting, but it doesn't look like they're going to use it. Exactly. But you have guys like Fabian Allen and Jason Holder in the hut. You've got to be positive. You've got to be going hard. Stop. Oh, he's nailed that. Absolutely nailed it flat over mid wicket for six. That's the power of the man. And that's a great shot. You see the rain just starting to fall. This is not a bad ball by Chris Jordan. Not far from that white line. Powell's give himself some room to get his hands free. Open up that leg side. Connection perfect. Giving the ball uh, a clean. Might have to uh, give it a dry in a minute as well. Got winds picking up from the east. Fronds on the palm trees are, are getting a good airing. We might just get a shower or two. We won't lose any time. Plenty of time to... Uh, Oh, he's killed that as well. What a strike. So, so dangerous. West Indies, they might just get that grandstand finish thereafter. Where has he been? Where has he been? Rob and Paolo will be asking. 14.4 overs before he made his entrance. Let's see, he's just crouching down, keep himself a little bit lower in his stance here. Looking to get underneath the Yorker. Chris Jordan hasn't quite executed it as well there. Chance for Rodman and Powell to open up the offside this time. After a struggle in the middle, last 11 balls have come. 33 runs from the West Indies. This is more like what we want to see. Powell, excellent. Kept his nerve. Chris Jordan is furious with himself that he missed the block hole the previous two deliveries. Two overs to go, one, four, six for four. Two overs have been uh, much more like it for the West Indies. But yesterday it was the 18th over, Jason Holder to uh, Moen Ali that went for 28 that propelled England to 190 plus. Both of these teams will think and will know that it only takes one over and suddenly the game has changed. Oh, that's big. That is big. West Indies go past 150. That's in the slot from Rhys Topley. Probably the first time in this series that he hasn't quite got his length right. That is in the slot for a player like Kieran Pollard. Sounded beautifully off the middle of the West Indian captain's bat. talked about a little bit earlier England are bottom of the full members ICC teams 10.43 at the death so far in this series I think they haven't done too badly apart from the Wednesday game which went for 225 every passage of the game went round the park but I thought England have bowled not too badly at the death in the series so far West Indies will be looking to exploit that. Ten and a bit more. Hoping to get somewhere close to 175.
Oh, excellent work from uh, Salton Roy again. West Indies scamper back for two. You've seen the power now of Rothman and Paul out the crease. We we'll like to say it earlier, but we're going to get it now. And they look for two, and they might get him here. Powell is very quick. And that was weighted perfectly. Good Yorker from Topley. Fifty partnership comes up for Pollard and Rothman. I must say that England has definitely improved their death bowling. They're landing your Yorkers now. And we all know how difficult that is to, to do. They'll let's land some more. Chose to go back of a length that time. Polo clothed it. He had to uh, go back and make sure he put his bat over the line. But still had plenty of time to come back for two. A couple of powerful men. Miss you, Yorker, at your peril against these two. Afterburners have started to go on for the West Indies. Is it too late? We will find out. Two balls left in this spell for Reese Topley. So uh, tall is Pollard that that will not be a no ball for above west height, waist height. England bowling full here at the death. Good Yorkers not being able to get underneath. Oh, bowled it again. No margin for error there. He might have got away with that yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. I think Rhys Topley's saying here, I think Rhys Topley's saying, yeah, he moved across and then came back. But I think if Rhys Topley sees that again, I think he realised that was a wide. Well, Bob, good finish. Good finish. The uh, over has cost Rhys Topley 14. He's gone uh, none for 43 from his four. One over to go. West Indies 160 for four. Chris Jordan with the 20th. Oh, and that's been pumped down the ground. Miss the Yorker at your peril. Don't want to do that. Especially at the big guy. Straight in the slot. And that's been punished. Great shot. Big bat. CJ be kicking himself. He has been doing very well up to then, landing his knockers, but he want to finish the last five balls as best as he can. Three back on the leg side, two back on the off. Better the margin for error when you decide at the end of the innings, when you decide that you're going almost exclusively for the Yorker. Especially guys of this size and power have to be so precise. 
greed. As a bowler myself, you don't want to miss the Yorker and pull your length back and make it a half body. It's sometimes better to go as a low full toss. It's still very hard for some batsmen to get under a low full toss. So it's, it's better to err fuller than to err shorter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rubman Powell. Unbelievable bat speed. A serious shot. Serious, serious shot. CJ thought he beat him <laughs> in terms of length. But Robman been very low at the crease. And he got under that one. And he's been the purple patch this series. He seems not to do anything wrong. So now the beauty of all of this is that time will tell, won't it? We'll find out when England have their chance to chase this down as to whether or not West Indies were correct in taking the foot off the gas through the middle. And whether or not that potentially, what, 180, 185 maybe they might get to here. They'll be completely vindicated should they win the game in the series. Oh, that's a brilliant take from Billings. Yeah. And this, this display by Rothman clearly shows you why we were concerned why he was kept back for so long. After that brilliant 100 on the same pitch, seems to me that he's been in good form, in good nick, striking the ball well. And I thought you will utilize him as much as you can in this innings. Oh, Powell will get back. Don't have to go to the keeper's end. Just a few big strides for Pollard, and he's home as well. Well, now getting into the realms of uh, nine and over from the start for England. Any time you have that sort of run chase on your hands, particularly on a ground where no one's chased more than one five five. You feel that you're in the game as the uh, as the batting team. All the matches uh, post the first been won by the team defending. All of the captains winning the toss bar today have chosen to field first on winning the toss. And today. Uh, Karen Pollard was very, very keen to put the runs on the board. And that's exactly what his team have done. Whether it's enough remains to be seen. Chris Jordan to uh, Robman Powell. Final ball of the innings. Powell is thinking short side and he's thinking maximum. Wide Yorker from Jordan. It's a really good delivery. It was the only place he had to go, really. And it meant that he had to execute it perfectly, and he pretty much did. Rodman Powell finishes 37 not out. Strike rate above 200. Kyron Pollard finishes 41 from 25 deliveries. Two sixes and a four for him.